Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you like what you see here, what I'm doing here, like, subscribe, dislike, share the video, guys. I thank you for all you do for me being here, guys. And like the title said, Joe Biden is seeking his revenge before he goes out the pastor after this election. He's getting his revenge on Kamala Harris and the goddamn Democrats. You know he was pissed off when they forced him out off the ticket for this election and he's getting his full on revenge. He's coming out undermining Kamala's sorry ass any chance he get even by we know putting on a, a MAGA hat a few weeks ago in Pennsylvania. He hates I think he hates Kamala Joe uh, Kamala, Nancy Pelosi Barack Hussein Obama way more does he, than he hates President Trump. He hates him more and he's going to get his his few shots in before they take him out the pastor after this election in January. He's going all in. And I can't blame the man. You basically committed a coup against the sitting president and basically forced him to drop out of the race. When he had 14 million votes in the Democratic primaries and you force him off the ticket and, and install a woman like Kamala Harris who has zero votes. In that primary, the voters wanted Joe Biden to be their candidate, not Kamala Harris, and he is getting his revenge. And this is this is from Jesse Jesse Waters here, man. What Joe Biden did a press conference yesterday in the White House shocked everybody, and he's putting out jabs at Kamala Harris. He can't stand her. I think he never could stand her. He picked her VP because she was stupid and useless, and he know. They could have never replaced him with her as president. This is why the 25th Amendment have never been used against Joe Biden. Because she's even worse off and stupider than him. And he's old. He's just old. His brain gone. She's just stupid. And unqualified for a position. This is why they never truly removed Joe Biden. Let's listen. Today, Washington saw a ghost. Hey, folks. Oh, shit. What? Joe Biden. Taking questions? Welcome, Mr. President. What? Welcome to the swimming pool. Holy it was the first time Biden ever set foot what? in the briefing room as president. The what? press was stunned. Yeah. Peter Ducey's yeah. wig yeah. fell off. <laughs> and every channel in America cut straight to it. We were actually about to go live to Vice President Kamala Harris, who's speaking right now Ooh. in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> and apparently she's talking about this port strike ending. Ooh. She's trying to appeal to union workers. Joe and Biden wanted the president of the United States cake and eat it too, baby. Out, uh, clearly overshadowing her, answering <laughs> significant questions. Is that a communications mistake? Is, is the left hand not talking to the right hand? Left Kamala hand. Harris was about to go on. Left hand talk to the right hand. End of the day, that man is still the president of the United States, even though, yeah, he's been he's been MIA for forever. End of the day, left hand talk to the right hand, he is still the current president. He don't got to tell her, the vice president, a goddamn thing what he's doing. He doesn't have to. Even though she's running for president, you're running for president. I am the president. That's the difference here. He don't have to tell her a goddamn thing. He don't care if he's campaigning. He's still, he still technically still the president and still running the country. What the hell? Do you see in there? Oh, man. So, oh, man, just not serious at all. On TV and take credit for ending the port strike. And Biden looked and said, oh, no, you don't. Exactly. And big-footed her. Yeah. Biden wanted full credit. Yeah. He's a lame duck, but even lame ducks care about their legacy. Yeah. If you're the Harris campaign, it's like Biden's haunting you from the grave. Good. Since the coup, Biden hasn't left his room for 43 days. Mm. He's gone 43 days without anybody laying eyes on him. Mm. There's a ghost in the White House. And in 15 minutes, that ghost spooked the Harris campaign. I'm in constant contact with her. She's aware we're, up, we're, all, we're singing from the same song sheet. Oh. We, uh, she helped passed the, all the laws that are being employed now. Ooh. She was a major player in everything we've done, Ooh. including passage of the legislation, which we were really well, we could never pass. <gasps> and so she's been, uh, and her her staff is interlocked with mine in terms oh. of all the things we're doing. Biden just said Kamala is responsible for the last four years. Yes, he officially said it. We know that. We knew that. What they're trying to do, Kamala Harris, she's trying to 
distanced herself from Joe Biden? No. You are in a lock with Joe Biden administration, 100%. You was a tie-breaking vote on most of the policies being pushed through Congress. She was a tie-breaking vote in the in the, in the Inflation Reduction Act, tie-breaking vote, and a few others. The Senate is 50-50. She's the president of the Senate. She passed a lot of legislation being a tie-breaking vote. She is fully in, cap- fully in lock with Joe Biden administration. Now, she... Joe Biden is basically a moderate compared to her progressive ass. She wants to go even further left and and progressive than Joe Biden, which is most scary than anything. And like I tell people, if she's president, if you think the last four, three and a half years were bad, boy, it's only going to get cranked up by tenfold when she's president. She she's going to crank that up by tenfold if she's president because she is progressive. Way more left than Bernie Sanders. This will be a full on shit. Sh- this will be full on America over, over for sure. America's already on this last on um, in the ICU on the damn on on the deathbed already. America is hooked up to the machines. The machines are keeping America alive, body alive right now. The machines are keeping America alive right now. It is on life support, but if she gets. If she win this election and with 31 days in the wake up, she's going to pull that plug. She's going to pull the life support of America and it's going to be a flat line forever. That is going to hurt. Mm-hmm. Seeing Biden again brought back memories. This isn't Charmin. No wonder I don't feel as clean. Here's Charmin ultra strong. Ah, Biden and the press were catching up on all of their favorite topics. The election is a month away. One, I'd like to know how you're feeling about how this election is going. And then also, do you have confidence that it will be a free and fair election and that it will be peaceful? Two separate questions. I'm confident it'll be free and fair. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know whether it'll be peaceful. The president of the United States should say this is going to be a free and fair election and we have everything under control. Wow. You shouldn't say, I don't know, could get a little violent, we'll see what happens. But it was time for Biden to leave. The reporters asked him to get back in the race. Do you want to reconsider dropping out of the race? I'm back in. (laughs) (laughs) It's actually funny, but the reporters see the same poll numbers we do. Biden might have a better shot. Yeah. And he still thinks he can win. Yeah. Biden, deep down, wants Kamala to lose. Yes, he does. First Lady Jill Biden isn't on the campaign trail with Kamala. Nope. Biden's they not hate, on the campaign trail with Kamala. They hate her guts. He's actually hurting her campaign. Yep. Saying she co-signed all of his economic policies. Yep. And then kicking her off TV so she couldn't get credit for the port deal. Yep. If Kamala Harris loses, Biden will blame one guy. Barack Obama. Yep. This would be the same. Maybe Nancy time Pelosi as well. Force Joe out in 2016. Nancy for Pelosi as well. Yeah, 2024 for Harris, with Trump beating them both times. If Biden sees Kamala go down, he'll look at Barry and say, "I told you so." Yep. That's if they're even talking, because they're not talking right now. Yep. And I'm gonna deep that there, guys. Like I said, this is a, like I said. But yep, he's gonna blame. He's gonna blame Barry. And also Nancy Pelosi, if if Kamala lose and get crushed, which is a good possibility, but Kamala Harris get crushed in this election, oh, he is gonna, oh man, he is gonna get, he's gonna get some ass. He's he's gonna be, he have every right to be mad and upset if Kamala Harris get crushed this election. Cause I, you asked me, Joe Biden was the best hope of anything the Democrats wanted to do. If not her, I mean, not him, it should have picked somebody outside of this administration that's currently in lock with the bullshit policies in this administration. She should not have nothing. She shouldn't have been the candidate. They should have pulled somebody else in the Democratic Party. But like I said before, any reasonable Democrat that have, wants any hope of getting it or having a shot in 2028 and beyond could not, could not be a candidate this year. Any reason Democrat like Gavin Newsom, anybody like, shit, I'm not going against Trump and get crushed. I then I have no hope of being the president ever again. Cause 
The Democrat Party won't look at me in 2028 or 2032. So let a lame duck, you better off keeping a lame duck Joe Biden in on this ticket. If not, if you're going to install Kamala Harris like you did, you should have 25th amend Joe Biden and had her be the acting or current president going into the election. Now, if, now I mean, if you do the 25th Amendment and remove Joe Biden, it's, we're a month away. It's too late. Bolton, early voting has already started. It's already too late. You should have removed Joe Biden and 25th Amendment him months ago. At the, at the, the Democrat na- um, nomination, c- c- commit at the Democratic National Commission, you should have said goodbye, Joe Biden, farewell. We're going to 25th Amendment you. Kamala Harris is going to be the president moving forward. And if she wins the election, she got eight years or whatever the case may be, you should have removed Joe Biden as the president and installed Kamala Harris as the president if you wanted any hope for her winning this election. But guys, what you what you think in the comments? Let me know. Do you think Joe Biden is seeking his mentor on the Democrats and Kamala Harris? Or you think it just eh, Joe being Joe and he don't know no better and stuff? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video out, guys. Thank you.